All right, question two. How did I get that graph? <clears throat> well, you can do one or two things. You can go to your calculator and punch it in. Or, after realizing inside the parentheses, or sorry, inside the bars, a plus three means I'm gonna go left three, and outside the bars, that minus four tells me I'm gonna go down four. And that's exactly what the graph is gonna do. So if I went to my calculator, that's what I'm gonna share over now. I'm gonna type in y equals, all right. Activate the absolute value by hitting math. Go over to num, abs for absolute value. And then put in x plus three, and then outside of it will be minus four. And that's gonna give me that graph that I already had done. It went to the left three and went down four. The same thing would be true for the other ones um, that are on there for two, one, two, three, and four. Uh, let's go ahead and do number four real quick. With that negative on the outside, and then and my and then x minus two. So the negative on the outside, that's gonna make it open down. It's gonna reflect it over the x-axis. Math num abs x minus two. So it's gonna be opening down because of the negative, and then the x minus two is gonna move it to the right two. Down because of the negative and to the right two. That is what I have.